Hey everybody, welcome to Video Game Relapse. Now, we've had a few days where I haven't gotten any videos out. Unfortunately, on day shift, I, I go back and forth between day shift and night shift, and right now I'm on a day shift rotation. It's a little bit more difficult for me to get gaming time in to make those videos, but don't worry, night shift is right around the corner, and when that comes up, I will definitely have more videos for you. But I wanted to make this video as a kind of stopgap. I have now been playing, what well, we're into the next gen um, series of consoles anyway, not necessarily next gen games yet, except for a couple here and there. We've been in the next gen since November, so we're about two months in at this point, and I wanted to make a quick list of the things that I really do and don't like about the Xbox Series S. Now, to be clear, those of you that don't know, I have not played video games in about seven years. I skipped the Xbox One PS4 generation. Uh, last thing I played was the Xbox 360. I played a ton of 360. I, I went through that system. My 360 died. I actually had it repaired. And I mean, like, the, I, I went through that system really hard and played a ton of games on it. And, and so now I'm going to create this list. What I like about the Xbox Series S compared to two generations ago that I, you know, cause I haven't seen really the improvements that have happened between then and now. So this is stuff that uh, really stands out to me. Now, not just things I like though. I'm gonna do three things I like. I'm also gonna do three things I don't like about the current uh, generation, the, the, the Series S, Series X generation, the PS5 generation. Now, I'm only playing Xbox. I'm pretty much an Xbox guy. I mean, I wouldn't turn down a PS5 if somebody wants to send me one. Don't think that's going to happen. But if, uh, but, but the Xbox has always been kind of the system that I have leaned towards. So that's what we're basing this off of. Now, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm, I've got two different top threes, top three things I don't like, top three things I do like. We're going to do this in six minutes, starting right now. All right, so starting with what I don't like, the download speeds are throttled back for some reason, for some reason, when you're playing a game. So in other words, even if I'm playing a game that's not online, if I'm playing a solo game by myself, not doing anything online, and I'm trying to download an update, trying to download another game, anything like that, the speeds are significantly throttled back for some reason. Now, that would make sense if I was playing online if i was playing you know call of duty against a ton of other people if i was playing you know destiny whatever anything online at all that would make sense to me but when you're playing it uh, just just have an app open just have a game open playing by yourself solo you know right there on your system not trying to play against anybody else not worrying about bandwidth and they still throttle the speeds back that makes no sense to me whatsoever i don't understand why that happens hey you know i'm not a tech guy maybe there's a reason for it but from what i can tell there's not and it really bothers me the next thing i don't like number two thing i don't like and this is not any particular order by the way not ranked the second thing i don't like is the ui for the three for the 360 for the series uh s series x is really technically it's functional it is technically functional but it's a jumbled mess to be perfectly honest uh, the, the 360 towards the end of its life cycle seemed to get the UI kind of figured out early on. It was kind of a weird thing with the blades and everything, but I, I felt like it got it figured out towards the end. But the PlayStation has always seemed to have the, the UI a step or two ahead of where the Xbox stuff is. It uh, always is, it, it, when, I've, you know, when I've played with my friends, uh, PS systems, it's always seemed like it was a little bit more intuitive, user-friendly, made sense, whereas the uh, Xbox, especially right now, I really don't like the UI as it is set up. It just scrolling down and, and pinning stuff that's, you know, but it takes up entire screen all, all at once. I don't know. It, it needs some work. I, I, I don't know how to improve it. It's not my thing, but... I don't like where it's at right now. Num and then we have all digital gaming. It's something that, as an old school gamer, I've always liked having physical copies of things. Now, I, you know, the the fact that you you know if 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 Xbox decided, I know it's against policy or whatever. I know that PlayStation and Xbox said they don't do this sort of thing. But if they wanted to, if they wanted to just pull the game from me, then 
they can pull the game from me and there's nothing I can do about it. I wouldn't have any way of preventing that from happening. They could, they could really delete it completely off my Xbox, but at a minimum, they can just make it where it doesn't work anymore. And, and you see that, you know, with Game Pass, you download a game and then it goes off of Game Pass. Well, it's still technically on the system, but it will not operate. And that, you know, it makes sense why it happens with the Game Pass, but that sort of thing could be done if they just decided for whatever reason, this game isn't going to be on our system anymore. Now, the top three things I do like. Number one, all digital gaming. It's fantastic as well. I mean, I just told you why I didn't like all digital gaming. But the fact of the matter is, I could be at work. I can see, oh, look at this new game that's on Game Pass. Oh, boop, boop, boop. And then it's downloading while I'm at work. I get home and I can play it right away. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Not having a ton of boxes cluttering up my house. That's also really, really cool. Even though I miss having physical copies in hand, I also don't miss the clutter that they create. So having all digital gaming is a fantastic thing from these points of view. From And I, I love the fact that, you know, I can easily just curate my collection. You know, if I want to get rid of something right now, I still own it so I can later download it. And it's just so nice and simple to deal with the collection in that manner. Now, the second thing that I love about the current generation Game Pass. Oh my God. I believe Game Pass was in its infant stages when I was had the 360, but back then it was all garbage games. I didn't want anything to do with it. Now, Game Pass, yeah, Game Pass is full of a bunch of garbage games too, but guess what? It's got a ton of really good games on it as well. Right now I'm playing through Witcher 3. I played through Hellblade already. Uh, Control's on there, which is a great game. And there's all kinds. When you start taking into account the EA games, you got to pay, I think, a little bit extra, or maybe you just have to have uh, gold to get the EA games. I don't have gold yet. I'm going to be getting it here soon. But uh, there's so many fantastic games. And you just, you like, I haven't bought a single game. I, I have the Xbox Series S. Haven't bought one game yet. I've just been playing all the stuff that's available on Game Pass. And now that Microsoft owns Bethesda, Game Pass is going to get really fleshed out, y'all. I, I, there's no reason it wouldn't. Microsoft is really going to be putting some good stuff in there. And finally, what I love, love it. This probably, this might be my, my actual favorite thing out of all of these, is load time is nearly non-existent on it. Back on the 360, load times could be a pain. I've heard on the Xbox One, load times could be a pain in the ass. Now, load times are practically non-existent. I'm told this is because of a move to uh, solid-state drives on, you know, as far as a hard drive goes, that somehow that is a big part of why load times are hardly there. I remember on the 360, they had started uh, transitioning to these sort of, you know, uh, transitional stages in games where you know you'd like start walking through like a really tight corridor and it would take a little while and you're like what the hell is this all about and that was actually a load screen it took the place of a load screen so it felt like you never had a load screen but in fact you were walking through these really kind of transitional stages and that's my time uh, but you walk through these transitional stages and, and that's why you'd have these real tight corridors all of a sudden that made you slow down and walk really really slow and then you'd be out in the open again. And that's because that was the load screen or took the place of the load screen. And now with this, it, there's nothing. There's hardly any load. Even when you're starting the game, hardly any load screens. Love it. So those are my top three things I do like. Top three things I don't like about the new generation, about the Xbox Series SX generation. Let me know what you like and don't like in the comments below. And until next time, uh, let's see when I'm probably going to be finally getting some more quest walkthroughs up for Witcher 3 in the next four days or so. And hopefully I won't have to take a break again. Hopefully I can, because if you go back and watch, we've had them up pretty much every day. We've had something up every day since the Series S came out. When Night Shift gets back here, that'll be happening again. And hopefully I get some stuff out during Day Shift again as well. Be sure to come back and join us again on Video Game Relapse and subscribe and click the bell and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks so much for watching Video Game Relapse. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions help out a lot. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can find more videos on the channel. We're releasing new videos almost every day. Also, if you're into tabletop games, check out my other channel, Board Online, Board Offline.